What's up guys, Headphones Neil here, back with my weekly recap of Star Wars The Bad Batch. And this, in this case, it's going to be Season 1, Episode 14, War Mantle. So, um, for all these few weeks, I've been saying a lot about how I want the show to progress, see more of the rise of the Empire, see more of that transition, and all of that background stuff as far as how the Empire is progressing into the growth and what we know of it in the original trilogy. And this episode is one of those that actually does that very well. So there are a lot of um, subtle references and nods to A New Hope, um, notably um, a lot more of that transition and kind of a little bit more of the politics of um, the Empire. So when you're watching the episode, the first thing you'll notice, I mean, originally it's just starting as a regular um, rescue mission um, initiated by Captain Rex. So they go. So the Bad Batch goes out to a um, random planet in the Outer Rim that they assume has nothing there. But as it turns out, there is a secret military base hidden in the mountain. So when they go to visit that base, as it turns out, there, or oh, that's where um, the random regular trooper is being held, and. This is where things actually get really good for me in the episode. So um, the first thing you'll notice is a very subtle um, soundtrack that is very reminiscent of A New Hope. So a lot of the music during um, the Empire scenes and things like that when the, um, a new, when the um, group from A New Hope is, um, you know, in, a, in the Death Star, when you have a lot of the military and Empire related scenes. So that stood out a lot for me. And then um, the base is very Death Star-esque. So a lot of the vertical light beams, the, the wall accents, the control panels and all of that um, are very reminiscent, which made me think as a bit of speculation that this might be um, a planet that, or like a base that was set up to um, mock up maybe some of the features and functionality of the Death Star, or it may be a, um, a portion of this, the like the um, maybe the flight system for the Death Star, so they have it built into this base in the mountain, and then they ultimately um, airlift it out or something crazy like that. But when they're going down the halls, and when you have the troopers going um, or um, walking down the halls, then you do see, get a lot of that Death Star feel. Um, and then also the, the stormtroopers, for me, while not necessarily the ones from A New Hope, are kind of a blending of the um, clone troopers from um, the Clone Wars and then the uh, troopers from A New Hope, so you get that as well, um, which is pretty cool. It was kind of, um, it looked like it was paying homage to the um, Death, the Darth Vader concept art from, for A New Hope. Um, or sorry, not A New Hope, but The Empire Strikes Back. So you kind of get that look and feel. So can think of Darth Vader's helmet in white. And that's what you get here. Um, so overall, a good scene there. Um, and then... And so that so that was actually a pretty good... Uh, pretty interesting callback for me. Um, and then ultimately, in this, na um, in this episode, we... Uh, learn via the Bad Batch of the new designation for um, the Stormtroopers, which is the TK um, designation. So clone troopers were obviously CT. So um, I was trying to actually I didn't make the note of what the TK stands for, and I'm honestly drawing a um, uh, blank on what the TK stands for, but. Um, the clone troop or the bad batch um, learns that there's a new designation as far as um, the those uh, stormtroopers go so I was um, happy to see that and then the final bit was that the the bad batch has to escape through the thermal exhaust port so this is kind of a um, retroactive um, way of acknowledging that there is a thermal exhaust port which also made me realize made me feel like this might be related to the Death Star because of the thermal exhaust port flaw in the Death Star that is used to blow it up and then also because um, we get a little bit more information of that in um, Solo, or sorry not Solo, but Rogue One. So 
Um, overall, a good episode and one of the ones that I liked more than the past few just because we get more of that um, blend or more of that background information, more of the um, tie into the Empire and I'm kind of basically filling in some information that we would expect to see during the time of the rise of the Empire and more of that transition um, process. So it's one of those um, things where I would hope, what I've hoped that we had, would have seen in Rogue One and even in Solo as far as some of those, uh, some of those background scenes, but granted those are limited, they have limited time to fill in that sort of information, so I'm kind of hoping that we see more of that here and um, maybe even ultimately the Bad Batch um, learning about the secret in military installation on Edu or more about the Death Star as far as where that's being held or maybe even getting there by accident and that's where we well, that's where they ultimately meet their end because we don't see them um, after that so something along those lines where um, um, where we get all that background information so it fills in all the um, bureaucracy rise, maybe some of the um, security flaws that um, Director Krennic had, Director, uh, Krennic had that um, always caused a conflict with Tarkin and Vader and the Emperor. So um, overall, like I said, overall a good episode, definitely worth a watch. So I'm hoping they continue on this trend where we there, that where the Bad Batch goes into further missions on this sort of stuff and now that um, Hunter has been captured um, by the Empire and I keep forgetting the sniper's name but um, I'm kind of curious to see how they're going to handle that, uh, how the rest of the um, Bad Batch is going to um, go back and rescue him. Uh, maybe they'll, br um, since they've rescued the guy that um, Captain Rex wanted them to rescue, um, I'm kind of hoping that they... Uh, that they you have that Rex helps them to rescue Hunter, and they do map to the rescue mission, or they have to get some other bit of information. Maybe bring in Sid to um, help them get that information, or something along those lines where they have to rescue him. So I'm kind of curious to see where they take it from here. So that's all there is for this particular review. So if you have any questions, comments, concerns feedback, stuff I missed, some stuff from this episode that um, you liked, didn't like, and all that, you can find me on Twitter at PatelN01. The website is HeadphonesNeal.Reviews for past episodes, subscription links, supporting the show, and all of that good stuff. And as a Patreon for the show, you do get early access to bonus content, so the upcoming content post for August is already up, so look out for that, along with a very special uh, review that is coming in August. Um, so uh, if you become a patron, you can check that out all with, and also get a um, bonus um, video post that will be coming soon. So um, that's that can all be found at patreon.com slash pateln01. But thanks for tuning into this particular episode, and until next time.